My brothers and sisters, when a person has faulted, how do they make things right? Like I was saying, the nikah, how should it take place? It must be simple, very simple nikah. We must not try and compete with the Joneses. No, that that family had a very big nikah with 2000 guests. We want to have one with 3000 guests. That family gave this gift. We want to have that. No, you are making it difficult. There will be no barakah in that marriage. You can invite how many people you want. Keep it simple. Keep it segregated, separated. Make sure you understand it is a religious function. It is not a social function. Understand that it is a function that is sacred. And this is why I treat it as though it is a function that is held because of the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. And then you will understand. Today we have, you know, people who get together, music is blasting, men and women are there. The, the, the bride who sometimes is very religious, the day she's getting married, her hair is showing, her cleavage is showing, her legs are showing, she's sitting in front of all the men and the husband comes in, he's supposed to be a religious person, but even he chooses clothes that do not depict any religiousness at all. And he wants to sit right in front of everyone and everyone is taking pictures and congratulating them and all the young boys and girls. It has happened where a man has seen a woman at his own marriage prettier than his wife. So he divorced his wife to marry that woman. Wallahi, I'm not telling you a lie. It is a true story. Look at this. Why? Because we don't do our things properly. And then some, some of us say, no, man, these people are, like I said, mullahs from Afghanistan. Astaghfirullah. Wallahi, this is, a, this is a religious ruling. I mean, if someone tells you, read your salah, it does not make them a bad person. If someone tells you, look, this is a proper religious function, which is spiritual. I had the opportunity of sitting next to a rabbi in one of the aircrafts. And I learned so much because a lot of their rules and regulations are very, very close to Islam. They are stricter than us in so many things. And that is the pure Judaism. Subhanallah. But their followers will not go out and say, no, it's a barbaric religion. But we sometimes would like to go out and challenge our own religion. And we don't want. Why is it? Let us not become dissolved in the cauldron of westernization, dissolved in the cauldron of Satanism, dissolved in the cauldron of worshipping our own desires. That shouldn't be the case. May Allah protect us. Really, you have a marriage that is simple. You are invoking the blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now they will be if they have a problem and it is not, you know, you cannot have a marriage which does not have any problem whatsoever. There will always be some form of an issue, small or big. But when you have had a proper marriage, then you need to realize that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will come to the assistance of the particular people who are involved. So this is the gift of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now, when we have had a marriage which was totally wrong, and as I said, we had extravagance and everything was gone wrong and so on and so forth. In that particular case, we need to engage in tawbah. Ask Allah to forgive you so that we are not penalized as a result of the wrong that we did not penalized and wallahi what i'm saying is real i have studied marriages where you have people who have abandoned the law of allah for those few hours of the walima or few hours of that function they abandon the law of allah they pay for it later on in life i have studied these sometimes and unless they engage in tawbah and change their lives because sometimes people are already married sometimes we who are married we did it the wrong way sometimes so how do you mend that allah says by engaging in istighfar say ya allah we did it we did it wrong ya allah forgive us what happened was not supposed to be my brothers and sisters it is a religious function do it correctly i call upon you really to have your functions of nikah correct no matter what Challenges you may face in terms of people saying if it is separated, I'm not going to come. Well, my brother, I've invited you. You want to come, come. You don't want to come, don't come. But I want the angels of mercy to be there. So if I'm going to keep it mixed because I want you there, then the angels won't come. And if I want the angels there, then you won't come. I'd rather you don't come. The angels be there. Allahu Akbar. We have had marriages where people have put on the card the dress code. Well done. Say this is a function of Islamic or should I say a spiritual nature. Please ensure that you are dressed appropriately. I know of a function where they turned down women who were not dressed appropriately from the door and it was a marriage. And I said hats off to them. It's just a pity none of us were wearing hats. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us goodness.